Hey, what's going on, everybody? Bauer Brown here. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In the video that I have for you guys today, we're going to be doing something, uh, something quick, simple, and fun. All right. Uh, what I have for you is is yet another script tool. Okay, and this one was kind of a means to an end for me. All right, and what I mean by that is. Uh, the map you're looking at right here is my Rocky Mountain Reserve. All right, and most of you guys know that this is scheduled to uh, to be released very soon, hopefully, so long as I get things finished. And speaking of getting things finished, I was working on park cars today. All right, so this is where the script is going to come in. Uh, and like I said, what I mean by means to an end is doing park cars in itself uh, is not very complicated, right? fairly easy there's there's not too much to it um, and it's even easier on a flat map but when you look at a map like this like rocky mountain it there is hills upon hills i mean even the hills have hills <laughs> there's a lot of hills on this map all right so that makes placing park cars not as easy as it once was all right so the options i had for placing park cars up until this point um was normally what normally what I would do uh, is if I'm working on an uneven surface right here is I would take a I would take something like here where you see park car 55 that I've highlighted I would duplicate that and then I would go down here to, to the vehicle I'd have a vehicle that I would move around right I control B and I'd kind of start to place this vehicle where I want it all right and then once I have it placed I would go up here to my attributes on my right hand side and this translate XYZ and the rotate I would copy those over to the new uh, park car that I just duplicated right so this way I would have everything perfect now on a flat map I don't generally do that I just place an empty transform group I line it up the way that I want it and call it a day I'm done uh, but it wasn't really working out too well on a really hilly map I mean you can see here that this is an, not, not an ideal place to set a car. All right. So what I came up with here is uh, basically I would take this. Uh, I still take the same car that I'm moving around. Right. It's just an object that I imported in from from the base game. All right. And then what I would do is kind of line everything up the way that I want it right here. All right. And once I get that all lined up, everything looking good there. If you look at my... Uh, transform group here on the left hand side where I have all my parked cars all right I make sure my vehicle is highlighted I click that button there okay and you can see a brand new parked car just showed up now if I move this car out of the way okay and highlight that car you can see it's right there where this car once sat so let me see <clears throat> let me show you what's going on there all right so this script is hot off the presses <laughs> and by that i mean I, I literally finished this maybe like an hour ago um only because like i said I, I needed an easier way to do this when you know park cars the process in itself isn't very complicated doesn't take very long uh, but when you have hundreds of them to do it, it adds up you know creating you know duplicating the transform group and copying values over from one to the other and it adds up so i wanted to find a quicker way to do this and like i said any, any of these guys that know me at all know that if there's a quicker way to do something i will find it and i will use the heck out of it so that's what we're doing here so let's get into our script editor really quick uh, i want to show you what we have going on uh this script by the way like i said it, it's literally i just made it so it's not up on any websites anywhere um this literally is the only place you're going to find this script is this video uh so i will make a copy of the script and i will put it in the uh in the description for the video so these guys can just copy it out of there and and put it into your uh into your editors that way all right so once you get the script put in there and I'm hoping by now you guys know how to do that. So once you get that put in there, the only thing you really need to change right here is if you see uh, it says enter the ID of the park cars transform group. All right. And that would be what you have uh, in your traffic system. When you look at your at the very bottom of your traffic system, you should have a park cars transform group. All right. If you highlight that and you look on your right hand side under attributes and you can see this id you see name park cars and then you have the id the 16849 that's what i'm working with and that's you can see that number is the same right here that 16849 all right so you want to do this every time not every time you run a script but basically every session all right or in between saves maybe because depending on what you do in your transform groups adding stuff removing stuff uh, this number could change all right it's generally a between saves uh, but it, it, it 
it doesn't hurt every once in a while to uh you know to take a peek and make sure that's correct especially if, if you you know if you try to run the script and you don't get the results that you were looking for okay but generally you know once that idea is set every everything's good to go so that literally is the only thing that you need to change all right now with me i put it in an icon and i threw that up on my toolbar to make it a little bit easier so i didn't have to go into my scripts every time all right so that's literally the only thing you need to do all right, so when you run the script, you do need to make sure that this vehicle is highlighted. All right, so you've seen that I just put one there. So if I want to find another spot for another park car, all right, I just kind of move over to my next area. So, oh, I don't know, maybe one in here somewhere. I'll put one in front of this house, possibly like right in here. All right, we'll line her up just like so. And, and the, these are the uh, these minute adjustments that I'm making here are things that you will never, ever get with just a bare transform group, right? Just kind of using your imagination, especially on uneven, uneven ground. It's just it's not going to happen. All right. So that's why I said this it was kind of a the script was born out of necessity because it's got to be kind of a pain, you know, especially if you like a lot of park cars on your map, you know, it adds a little bit of a some some gives it a, that realistic feel to have some parked cars a lived in feel right so something's actually going on there all right so i got that vehicle set exactly where i want it just go up there i click the icon to run a script there we go park car 57 just showed up nice and easy and then i just move on to my next spot all right it's as easy as that folks really it just it definitely speeds up the process and like i said just make sure you copy that out of the uh out of the uh video description because you're not going to find that anywhere else right so it's not up on or yet anyhow you know how these things tend to propagate across the internet <laughs> without even trying or without my permission but it is what it is it's you know here for everybody to enjoy so if it finds its way out there it is what it is right it, it's it's for everybody to use it's all right like uh like i said that's that's very very simple just make sure you have the id uh for your park cars transform group you have that set in the script always make sure that your vehicle is highlighted and that's that and this vehicle by the way i had got that from the base game right if you go over to your data and then not placeables but if you go down to cars you'll find it inside of there you can pick any one of those and then that's what you can use to move that around Alrighty. so like i said that that's it that's my simple uh, park car creator script and uh, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with it, and I hope it definitely speeds up your workflow. And like always, if you found this video that was uh, <clears throat> to be, you know, helpful in any way, uh, saved you a little bit of time or, or what have you, definitely uh, consider leaving a like and subscribe. That would be much appreciated. And with that being said, I am Bauer Brown, and I will see you on the next one.